So I feel honored and privileged to be able to attend Air Assault, uh, to be able to come to this course and test my limitations, um, to be able to prove myself, to prove to myself that I can, I can do what countless other male and female soldiers have been able to do before me. So we started out with 266 soldiers and we're now down to 196. I'm one of 10 females that are left, so it feels pretty good to be able to, to show not only other female soldiers, but other male soldiers that, that female soldiers are equally adept to, to be able to, to withstand the physical challenges. My favorite thing about this training is honestly the smoke sessions. I really enjoy uh, the physical the physical nature of it, um, just the repetitive. I mean, one day we did 2,000 overhead arm presses with an M16 in hand. So it's just, it's getting over that mind barrier to be able to, because at some point everybody's mind says we want to quit, we don't want to push our bodies to go further. And to be able to train your brain to just let go of that and just, just do it and overcome, it's, it's a pretty, it's rewarding. I think the, the training here at Fort Rylea is, is superb. Uh, the cadre are great. They've been really good about teaching us step by step everything from phase one, phase two to phase three. Sling load operations was, was probably one of my favorite things learned. So once I go back to Utah, I think I'd be able to guide any fellow soldiers that are coming out to air assault school with what they can do physically to be ready for the challenges of the obstacle course and the grueling phase one. Coming through and advancing through air assault school definitely has given me confidence to be able to take that knowledge back to my unit and show them how to apply it or to get ready to come and attend the course themselves. I would say start running, start doing lots of push-ups, um, cardio for sure, and a lot of overhead arm presses. My advice to future females that want to attend the air assault course is to just mind over matter. You know, have the confidence, display your courage, your tenacity to be able to just step up and prove to your, not only to yourself, but to other soldiers that they can come and do this and compete with the males and succeed. I decided to take the air assault course because it's very selective. Not a lot of people get an opportunity to do it. It's a milestone for my career and just a great way to to prove that I'm up to the challenge of anything that's thrown at me. The hardest part of this course was most likely the first couple of days. You you have to find out who is squared away and really how the class is going to start working together. So that took some time, but we're we're at a good gate now. I try and keep myself in excellent condition mentally, physically, um, but when my unit approached me and asked if I would like to go to the school, of course I took extra preparation and making sure that I was um, even more so fit physically and mentally for the course. If you are going to attend the air assault school, you need to be in your most fit condition ever. It will not be easy by any means at all. Here at Camp Rylea, um, I would say it's a, it's a great facility as far as to all that I've been able to attend up to this point in time. We have, you know, we have great instructors, great equipment. Um, the obstacle course is phenomenal. I would say having the air assault course here at Camp Rylea, Oregon, is immensely beneficial to the state of Oregon itself and really the nation. Just having this top-notch training facility where, you know, units from all around can come and train um, and it's really such a valuable skill. I like doing my job because it's fun. Uh, I like enjoying interacting with the soldiers and teaching and training so they can go back and train their soldiers. It's beneficial to do the course here, one, because of the weather plays a big part. When you start talking about ruck marches and doing things such as tower repels and operations out of aircraft. In Oregon, we have good support with this, and that's another reason why we like coming here. Our support is always outstanding when we come up here. As far as the medics, support, supporting with civilians and the contractors. The Air Assault Course is a 10-day school that is ran from day zero, which is obstacle course day, two-mile run, and they have to complete certain events. At the end of that, there are actually introduced into the course by meeting those prereqs. 
After that, we're going to phase one, which is the combat assault phase. In the combat assault phase, they learn about the Army rotary wing aircraft, characteristics of the aircraft, and then they're introduced into aeromedevac, Pathfinder operations, close combat attack. Then we move into the second phase, which is the sling level operations, where most students that come to the school, this is where they come to school for the sling loads, so they can take it back to their unit. At the end of phase two, they will take their hands-on examination. One out of 10 soldiers always gonna lose a battle buddy out of the class. So once they completed that, they move into the last phase of air assault schools, which is the repelling phase. The repelling, the repelling stage consists of repelling from a 70-foot tower, and at the end of their 70-foot repel, uh, multiple repels out of that tower, the day before graduation, they get to repel out a UA-60 from about 90 feet AGL above ground level. At the end of the aircraft repel, they have their last graduation uh, requirement, which is a 12-mile ruck march in three hours. After that back, uh, ruck march, they have a back layout. That back layout is consists of their packing list that they have to have entirely. Once they completed that, they completed the course and then they move on to graduation the same day. We started with 266 on zero day. As of right now, we still have 193 soldiers on ground. The rotation of students this class is not bad. We have a lot of top performers. They're just trying to hold each other up to the end so they can graduate as one. They don't want to lose no more of their classmates from this point on.